Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 tips for using the Unicari pizza oven. Here we go. Check the heat of your pizza stone. If you find that cooking at 430 degrees centigrade in the center is overcooking your base, have a go at cooking at 410 degrees centigrade in the center of the stone because for me, for the Unicari pizza stone is the perfect cooking temperature. It has got great heat retention and conduction. Second tip, turn your pizza stone around and over after each cook. This will ensure your oven burns off any debris that you've got from your last cook. Third tip, give your chimney toggle a little wiggle after every few wood-fired cooks. This cleans away any soot buildup around the vent area of the chimney. Tip number four, if you're planning to cook with wood and gas, one after the other, then it would be best to use the gas burner first. And when you've cooked using that, then detach and use the wood burner. The reason being that the gas burner stays cool at the back and can be removed without much heat. The wood burner gets very hot and takes a lot longer to cool down. Plus it has to be removed from the front of the oven and pulled out over the very hot pizza stone. Number five, it's a dislike of mine that stems from using the Uni 3. If you have a large enough flame, there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to cook your pizza with the door off. It allows you to watch your pizza cook and it's easier to rotate. If you prefer a super fast cook, then you can always choose to keep the door on, but at least it's nice to have the option not to. Tip six, using the uni burner, I cook with a dial on full flame, normally. It depends on how dry my toppings are. This burner tends to place the flame at a slightly higher level than the coda burners. So if the toppings are quite dry and to avoid overcooking them, I cook with a dial at three quarters to full. Other than that, I would normally use the gas burner on full flame. Tip number seven, in order to keep the flames strong in the grate for your pizza cook, it's important to correctly time when you add your wood to the grate just before the cook. For me, that time is five minutes before. That gives the log enough time to catch and leaves you with a full flame long enough for the duration of your cook. Tip number eight. I find cooking in a breeze is a challenge because the flames go everywhere inside the oven. I've placed the crust too close to the flames in a breeze and a huge flame has just wafted over it. And in seconds, I've, I've burnt my crust. The only advice I can give here is to cook with your pizza away from the flames as much as possible, closer to you, the better. It allows you to maneuver quickly if needed, if the flame comes over your, your crust. I mean, this applies to both the gas and the wood fire because if it's continually gusty I mean it is a bit of a challenge when you're cooking in wind and it does take a bit longer as well for the oven to heat up I found sometimes you know you just need to cook with a little breeze try and find an isolated spot in your backyard or garden but if you can't try and position the oven to the side of the wind as much as possible so it doesn't hit it to the front and the, the back Tip number nine, if you can, have a go at using a turning peel, a metal turning pizza peel. The reason being, I know that the square ones um, where you pull the pizza out and you rotate it by hand and then you place it back in, it is easier, but I think that if you can have a go at learning to use the turning peel if you haven't already, then it would be beneficial in the long term. It keeps the pizza inside the oven in the heat. When you're pulling the pizza out on a, like a, a square peel and you have to pull the pizza out with your fingers, one, 
I don't know how many times I've burnt my fingers and two it does change the shape of my pizza so they ended up not being round anymore they sort of turned into this like weird shape because I turned them especially at the beginning of the cook rather than at the end of the cook when the dough is a bit more susceptible to being stretched in the wrong places my advice would be if you can have a go at using a, a turning peel it's not that hard I just practiced number 10 I personally recommend using a wooden launch peel to launch pizza and I don't mean like one of these heavy ones I mean like a very light one I have got some metal peels with perforations in them for launching and they are okay to use but I just find that the wooden launch peels they are my favorite and after all of the peels I've used I always go back to the wooden lightweight launch peels and I I love them and they last me for years very happy with them I just quickly wash and dry and put them away after using them and the pizza slips off nicely with a bit of semolina or flour on them so I would highly recommend a good value wooden pizza peel to launch your pizza into the oven because you can get ones that fit the unicarry like this one. The best advice I can give you is to just have fun, enjoy your pizza making. If it goes wrong, it doesn't matter. I've made so many mistakes and I've burnt loads of pizza, but at the end of the day, you will learn from those and you will end up making the most beautiful pizza at home. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. I've made a few other videos with my tips on how to use the oven, also how to light the Unicari pizza oven. All of these will be linked in the description box below. Hope you're all okay. Take care everyone. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.